question is the day to day when you struggle, reminding yourself that it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that I'm I'm the one who struggles with hijab. Because the inner um, you know, doll <laughs> wants to just always be there. So how do you keep that momentum when in the morning you wake up and you just don't want to put it on and you're just like Ugh, my hair looks good. I really don't want to put it on. So you just remind yourself that it's for a lot and not resent the whole day. You're just like, oh, the sun is shining. This, this, the sun is there and I can't feel it. How do you, how do you progress? And like keep that solid grounding, you know, this is for Allah all the time because it does come. Faith comes and it goes and then you're just like, man, I just really am going to stay home today because I just don't have it in me to go out and cover. Yeah, Jazakla Okan for sharing that. You know, you said it right. Faith comes in and out in so many different levels. Iman comes in and out. We're not expected to have this, this equilibrium of Iman. Nobody, if, we, if that was it, we're going to be in Jannah, man. We're just, you know, that's, that's, not, that's not this world. It happens. And there are going to be days that you have that. Those are the days that you push through just a little bit harder. It's not just about reminding yourself, okay, I, this, this is for the sake of Allah. Sit with yourself. Sit with yourself that, yes, today this is hard for me. Yes, today I don't feel like wearing it, Allah. It's so hard for me to wear it today. I really don't want to wear it. It's okay to feel that way. It's okay to tell yourself that. Acknowledge that. Because what you're doing is you're fighting your soul. You're fighting yourself and your emotions. And trying to be like, no, no, no. Don't come. Don't come. It's okay. Let it come. Sit with that emotion. And remind yourself that, okay, today was harder. What, what was easier for me the other day? What made it easier? Okay, maybe the sun wasn't out. That made it easier, right? It was, yeah, it was cold. There's snow on the mountains. Yeah, I know. There's snow on the mountains. But it's okay. Continue to... There, there are going to be daily things that you have to do to replenish your soul, right? Every single day, you know, we go out there in the world. If we don't do things to recharge our battery, it's going to be so much more harder to continue to do that. Just like a bank ATM, right? You need it put in money to take out money. If you keep putting, if you keep taking out from that bank of yours without replenishing that bank of yours of soul and recharging yourself and giving you that self-care that you need, it's going to be, it's going to be harder to do. So for, so for that, start to, you know, some things that I've done that have helped me is that I read the Salat salam on the Prophet salam every single day. I read the Astaghfar every single day. This helps this helps me in going through because one salam on the Prophet وسلم, gives you 10 mercies from Allah. And perhaps one of those mercies is going to be that strength to plow through. So may Allah make it easy on you. I have one more question to sure. add. So I feel like there's a little bit of disconnect between our generation, like 30s and younger. Um, is like we understand what it was like post 9-11 and everything, but we don't understand what the Sahabiyat really struggled with because all we ever hear is they tore their clothes and they put it on their hijab and they were like that bad you know they were like so hardcore and then we're over here like oh hijab. <laughs> so like what examples do we have of them struggling or them going through their lives and what hijab was like for them back then so that we can be like oh it, they've been there they've done that you know on top of replenishing our iman bank you know keeping that flow, but how do we also connect that our sisters in Islam went through this? They did it. It's, it's written. You know. yeah. How do we connect that? Yeah. So I don't have any particular um, stories off the top of my head, um, yeah. but what I, what I can share is when the command, how Allah SWT brings down a command, it wasn't just he brought it down just like this. There were years in between. One example would be there was when when the command came down um, to to pray and to the, the right the Muckin period. There was a lot of struggle that happened in the Muckin period, and on one particular one, I, I remember hearing a sheikh talk about this. 
that about alcohol specifically that alcohol wasn't said to okay that's it can't do it first was okay don't be intoxicated while coming near prayer then it was another step then it was another step when the when the the um, migrated to the Medinan period. It was 10 years of that. Then came the commandment down to now no more alcohol. It was baby steps. We today think like, okay, you you know, especially for our converts, our re reverts, you know, that okay, now you're Muslim, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. No, start slowly. Start slowly and, and, and work on it. Just like the progression piece is that you put your hijab on, you may not, may not wear your clothes properly today, that's okay. Like maybe that act of yours is going to give you the strength later to conform and change to that. Allah, may, maybe Allah loves an act of yours that he will give you that strength and guide you to that. Right? We, we try to see, okay, they did it, they did it, but they struggled. They struggled a lot before they were able to do it. And this is our struggle. This is, and it, you shouldn't look at it as, oh, this is just a very little struggle compared to what they did. No, this is your struggle. Own your struggle. It's okay to have this struggle. Um, so, you know, it, it's essentially, you know, kind of working towards.